Hello and welcome to Thaik. I am Muhammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about group by in Power Query in Microsoft Power BI. If you are new to this channel and if you are not yet subscribed to this channel, please click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. We can do in two ways in group by in Microsoft Power BI. One is directly in the visual itself. So I'm just clicking on say for example category and region and total profit. So it is profit by region inside that category and total profit. I want to increase the text size. Text size to a little bit readable. 12 so it changed all to 12. So this is the total profit by region and by category or if you want to take only by region say for example I'm just removing this so it gives me the data irrespective of any category irrespective of any date okay this is the total profit by region grouped together you can do this way and one more way you can do that go to edit queries in the home tab go to edit queries It will open up the Power Query Editor. I have the orders table here. I'm just right clicking on it and want to duplicate. It duplicates this table and just want to rename it orders group. Now in the home tab, if you go to this transform, you have an option group by. Click on that. So there's two options available here basic and advanced i will go one by one basic i want to group it by region okay and the column name is profit right so p o o f i t profit operation counter flows is the sum is the average median mean max counter distinct row all rows select sum of profit Click OK. So it just added one more step, the so group by, and it all together gives me this one. So click Apply and Close. It will add one more table here after applying the changes. So this orders group here. I want to select region and profit, and want to increase the text size as well. If I kept beside to this one, so there is no difference between these two. You might be thinking then then what is the use of it using the group by function in Power Query Editor as you can able to directly group the group these features in the visual itself, right? It is useful when you want to compare one more table, which is also you have group information and other table you have the detailed information, and if you want to merge it together. If you want to relate it together, then you might have difference on that. Say so for example, you have two regions, right? Central East and one region is for America and one region is for Asia. Okay, so Asia, you want to compare Central East, South and West to America's Central East, South and West. And you have the detailed information of America here and you have group information of Asia in one more table. If you want to merge it together, you can't able to do that. With the help of this group by function, you can able to do a group of this American information, that is US information in one table and you can compare it with Asia from another table. Got it right? So this way. And if you go again to Power Query Editor, we have one more option, advanced. So I'm going back again to this table and I'm going to delete this one. So clicking on group by again, I'm going to advanced mode by region and then can add multiple steps by category. 
you want to add multiple you can add this one and if you want to move up and move down you can also even do that move up and move down regions and category now to do that so want to add multiple sum of columns so i want to add sum of sales in one column and another column is profit sum of profit click on ok so it will group by region and then by category and sales and profit click apply and close it is applying the changes so now if you want to add the region category and profit and you can do that that's it so these are you can able to use this group by function and these are the uses of group by in power bi if you like this video please click on the big thumbs up button and if you are new to this channel or if you are not subscribed to this channel please click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications share it with your colleagues and friends if you have any queries and feedback please post it on the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video